Good morning, Shannon. Hey, Gary. Good morning, buddy. Good to have you. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm thrilled to get a chance to visit with you. I was uh, had mixed emotions about contacting you because of the events that we're going to discuss, but I, I appreciate you coming on. Hey, no problem. I know that, uh, you know, obviously a lot of people in the Tuscaloosa area are uh, diehard listeners, and it's, it's always good to uh, uh, chew the fat with you, so to speak, buddy. Well, this day five years ago um, is etched in all of our memories, uh, but for you and uh, your family, you live with it every day and will for the rest of your life. Your daughter, Lauren, at the time, 21 years old, uh, finishing up her curriculum at Shelton State, already accepted at the University of Alabama. She wanted to go to school where her daddy went to school, and she wanted to become a sports broadcaster, uh, something, of course, that is close to me, and I probably uh, would have worked with her. There's a good chance she would have come through our program at WVUA 23 and, and been an intern, and I would have gotten to know her. Uh, you look at her pictures, you can see the love for life that she had. Um, but her and, and 63 others that day lost their lives due to that tornado uh, in that, that tragedy. But you have not wanted her to lose her life in vain. A couple of memorial scholarships have been set up. Um, people continue to reminisce about the type of person she was, the enthusiasm and the energy that she had for life. So she may be gone from this earth. But Shannon, the great news is she's certainly not forget, forgotten, nor will she ever be. Yeah, you know, Gary, it's... Um you know, it's, it's, it's definitely no doubt it's uh, every day is a, a challenge, and I can only speak for myself. I mean, everybody deals with uh, grief in, in different ways, and uh, even though it's been five years, it seems like it was yesterday. Uh, but I will tell you, you know, through this, uh, through this time and, you know, even today, I, Gary, I can't even begin to tell you uh, the amount of people that have tried to reach out to me today just, uh, you know, praying for you and your family and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and uh, I'm very humble and grateful for uh, the friends and, and people that I don't even know uh, that are reaching out and, and lifting myself up, and not only myself, but just the people of uh, that tragic day uh, that have lost loved ones. Because, again, you know, materialistic things that I've said throughout this, you know, these five years, you know, Americans are – we're terrible about getting hung up on who's got this or who's got that. And it's really helped me personally put things in perspective. All these materialistic things can always be replaced. We can rebuild, but you know, lives can't, lives can't come back. No, they can't. And, um, hers is, been lost because of this storm. But as we are visiting with Shannon Brown, he is going to talk to uh, us about how she moves in and, and continues to move on and, and, inspire people through a couple of scholarships there right now though that day uh shannon you were coaching at ardmore high school i think at the time up there in north yes, alabama uh and it's certainly all over the state there were weather outbreaks um when did you know up there that this storm in the tuscaloosa area if you can recall that for me was as bad as it was when did you first get concerned about what was going on in tuscaloosa when was your first notice that this this thing might be pretty serious uh, you know, Gary, you know, as you talk about that, you know, I've got chills all over my body just instantly. I'm just like, you know, I'm, um, I, I had no clue. Uh, we were, we were batting down the hatches up here, so to speak, in the North Alabama area. And I had no idea what was going on south of me, uh, until I received a phone call. It was approximately, I don't know, between five and six o'clock for my brother-in-law. And uh, my phone rings, and I'm looking down at it. You know, I'm thinking he's calling to check in on us, make sure we're okay. And he's calling me, wanting to know if uh, if I've talked to Lauren. I'm like, I talked to her yesterday, um, but I, I haven't today. What's what's going on? He goes, man. He's like, do you not know? And I'm like, no, Jimmy. What what's going on, man? He goes, dude. There has been a massive tornado that has hit Tuscaloosa and nobody can get in touch with Lauren. Mm. And at that, and at that moment, Gary, I was like, what? So, you know, and there, here we go, you know, and it, and it, it begins. So, and the, the not knowing for about two hours in regards to what was going on and, 
You know, I have my dad, you know, it's been well documented in two books, you know, what my dad did. Right, and, Jerry Brown. Uh, yeah, to get in there and basically cut himself into Tuscaloosa and moving telephone poles out of the way and so emergency personnel could get back to where our house was at and, you know, and trying to the selfie, you know, and again, but I, I just told everybody, I said, listen, cell phone towers are probably out. Everything's going to be fine, you know. Nothing ever happens to you. You know, the Brown family, you know, we, we're very blessed and, you know, we're good. And, you know, you get mixed stories about, you know, postings on social media that she's at Druid City Hospital, everything's fine. And, you know, I knew that wasn't true because my dad couldn't even get in there with his tractors and stuff. So mm -hmm. I knew that that was the case. And then my dad's there on the scene and I'm just like, you know, Pops, shoot it to me straight. I'm, you know, I'm on my way. Um, let me know. And he's like, Shannon, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And I'm like, come on, man. Tell me. Shoot me straight. He said, son, I promise you, we don't know. We are here. We're on the scene, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, and the whole time I'm trying to get there, trying to get there, trying to get there. And it wasn't an easy road to get there. I mean, we had debris all over the interstates. And I'm going to tell you, I've been in Tuscaloosa for a long time, but when I showed up, I, it was pitch black. It was a little after 12 o'clock in the morning, and I promise you, I didn't recognize where I was at. I had no clue. Mm. You know, Shannon, you leaned on your on your blood family, no doubt, in that time of, of tragedy. But I know, too, that your Alabama football family uh, rallied around you, of course, a young man at the time that was on the team Carson Tinker was injured in the tornado his girlfriend uh, passed away from the tornado but I want you to, to talk to me about how that the Alabama football family rallied around you and your family and Lauren and really um, served as as a basis for you to get some relief and comfort you and your family during that time it, it was special I know for you well, just, you know, again, for me, I learned something while playing at the university that, you know, wearing that crimson jersey is a is an honor. It's a privilege. It's an honor. And at the university, it, they didn't know Shannon Brown anything. Um, you know, they gave me an opportunity to, to play a game that I love and to get a great education. And uh, I'm forever indebted for that. But uh, what those guys did after the fact, which they don't owe me anything. But, you know, for Mal Moore to come in and Coach Stallings to fly in from Paris, Texas, and for Nick Saban to reach out to me personally on more than one occasion, uh, not to mention uh, the trainers, the former players, Bob Baumhauer shutting down his restaurant and bringing all the employees uh, on a charter bus to visitation. I mean, Gary, the list goes on and on and on, and I, there, there's no way that I could ever thank, uh, you know, the Alabama Nation, the Alabama family, uh, for the outpouring of support, uh, the tears, and, and and not only for me, but you know, for Lauren's mother, um, you know, that's that's definitely been huge as well. But uh, I, I'm just so grateful that uh, to be a part of such a it, when I tell you it's special, right. I, I can't really put into words, Gary, how truly special and what being a part of the Alabama family and, and the support and, and guys like Saran Stacy reaching out to me personally. And, I mean, here's a guy that, my goodness, has, you know, lost pretty much his entire family in a tragic wreck. And, you know, he's telling me, I mean, here's this guy giving me, you know, giving me advice. And I'm just like, my gosh. Uh, you know, so the support was definitely phenomenal, and I'm I'm forever grateful. Visiting with Shannon Brown, a former UA and Atlanta Falcons defensive lineman, high school football coach, his daughter Lauren Alexandria Brown passed away in that April 11th or April 27, 2011 tornado. Uh, we're going to talk about the scholarships in a moment, but before we do that, before we wrap it up, I want you to give us some insight into. 
um, your daughter, for those that didn't know her, uh, reading about her prepping for this interview, she was dogged and determined not just to go to college, but to go to Alabama, where her where her dad had played football. Uh, she came to Shelton State, uh, was just finishing up her coursework there, as I mentioned earlier, uh, had been accepted at UA, wanted to become a sports broadcaster. But talk, uh, speak of, of, of her determination and her desire to set goals and uh, and reach them. And, you know, it wasn't just going to be enough to go to college. She was going to go to UA one way or the other. Yeah, you know, obviously, um, you got to go back. You know, she was uh, she was a young child uh, during my days there as a player. Uh, definitely got a lot of extra attention uh, from Coach Stallings and uh, <laughs> Miss Ruth Ann. And, um, you know, a lot of people from time to time would have to watch Lauren Forrest up in the front office and – uh, whether it's Linda Knowles or, or whoever it is. I mean, so, um, you know, she grew up around Alabama and Alabama football. And the one thing about Lauren is that, you know, I want people to understand, and, and it, it, it's, you know, sometimes you don't realize how special something is or how good something is until it's gone. And I knew my daughter was special, but I didn't learn truly just what an angel she was amongst us until obviously she's no longer here. It's the stories and the things and the kindness and the love and the, you know, she was just one of those people that everybody wanted to be around. She was just so full of wow. of life and energy and, and just spunky and, you know, just that kind of young lady that she wanted to be around. But, you know, it was important to her. Lauren was very, very passionate about trying to please her father and living up to some expectations that, in all fairness, I, I never put those on her as a, as, a, as a father. I wanted her to be her own person. The only thing I ever told Lauren and I preached to her, I said, I want you to get your education. I want you to get a good career going. And I want you to be dependent on yourself. I don't want you to have to get in a situation to where you have to depend on another man to make it in this world. You be your own woman, and if that time comes, so be it. But uh, so she understood about work ethic, and she understood about that if you want it, you got to go get it because anything in life worth having doesn't come easy. And um, I- I'm very proud of, uh, of where she finally found her direction. Uh, like most college students, uh, you know, she had her share time of, uh, you know, having fun in the nightlife, so to speak, and Dad had to show a little bit of hard love to wake her up. But uh, she was on track, and then I, and when she called me to let me know she got accepted into Alabama, I, I cried like a little baby. All right. Awesome. Well, you know what? She's gone, but she's not going to be forgotten, as I said. And you're doing everything you can to make sure that her memory is carried on exactly the way it should be. A couple of memorial scholarships uh, endowed uh, in her name. I want you to tell us about those and, and uh, you know, how those came about and, and uh, what people can do if they want to, uh, you know, uh, help those scholarships continue. Tell us about that, Shannon. Well, you know, I definitely, I, you know, I- I would like to say that I, I mean I, I didn't have a whole lot to do with that. I've got to get all, I've got to give all the credit to uh, to Lauren's mother Ashley uh, Mims uh, that has really been passionate right. about driving those scholarships. And uh, the first one was the Lauren Brown Memorial Scholarship there through the University of Alabama, uh, which is um, uh, it's an endowed scholarship. Basically, what that means is it reaches a certain amount. And then the university will invest that portion of the money, and that's what we use to give kids scholarships. Uh, we now have a second one started, which is the Lauren Lowe, L O, uh, Brown uh, Memorial Scholarship. It's not endowed yet, yet. We don't have endowed status on that one. So I would encourage people to, you know, it's the Lauren Lowe. Uh, she had a website that she had started up called the Down Low. It was all about the sports, kind of her deal was that. You know, the 411, as you call it, or what's the down low, what's the scoop, what's going on? And, and that, that was the, her mother came up with the, the Lauren Lowe uh, Brown uh, Memorial Scholarship. So, you know, definitely I, I appreciate the people that, uh, that donate to this worthy cause because what Lauren Brown is going to do is her, you know, again, we talk about, 
heroes are remembered and legends are never forgotten. Well, Lauren Brown is definitely going to be a legend because the many lives that she is going to impact long after I'm dead and gone uh, will be far greater than the impact that I could have ever done uh, while being on this earth. And so, uh, you know, granted, uh, you know, playing at Alabama and all the accolades that Shannon Brown uh, accumulated over the years, I can promise you right now, uh, clearly I'd give it all back just to be able to hold my daughter one more time. But, um, you know, what she's doing, um, I'm really proud. Well, Shannon, um, listen, man, I, I appreciate you coming on the program this morning. I know it's not easy, uh, but we appreciate you telling us about Lauren and and uh, want folks to support the, the scholarship that's not endowed yet and uh, keep her memory living on. It was a, a day that we'll all remember, but I know this is not easy, and I just really appreciate it. Good to talk to you, man. Hey, Gary, thank you, and I just would like to say to all the people out there that uh, lost loved ones on this day, I'm, I'm praying for everybody out there, and, uh, you know, just stay Tuscaloosa strong. Keep growing. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks, Gary.